Hi everyone, I'm Stu Unwin. It's currently Sunday the 24th of July 2016 and welcome to week 28 of my weight loss journey. Last week we all saw that I maintained my weight where I neither lost nor gained and as a result my body mass index remained the same at 63.5. I've been continuing to monitor my calorie intake over the week, of which you can see my daily um, consumption in the graph above. The average of this is 2,617, which is pr slightly up from the previous week, which was at 2,535. If we now look towards the amount of exercise or walking that I've completed, during the past week. Again, if you look at the graph above, we can see my daily steps, which an average of this is 1,819, which is up pre from the previous week, which stood at 1,380. The main reason for that increase was due to me having a walk last Sunday, uh, which I did straight after filming the last week's video. Uh, I decided to go around Rover Valley with my friend and as usual I did take a couple of photographs which you can see right here. Okay, so let's look at my daily weighing results. So last Saturday, I weighed 217.2 kilograms, which is 478.8 pounds. If we now look at Sunday, I weighed 218.5 kilograms, which is 481.7 pounds, which means between Saturday and Sunday, I gained 1.3 kilogram, or 2.9 pounds. On Monday, I weighed 218.6 kilograms, which is 481.9 pounds. That means I increased my weight by 0.1 kilogram, or 0.2 pounds, since the previous day. If we now look at Tuesday's weighing result, I weighed 220 kilograms, which is 485 pounds. That means between Monday and Tuesday, I gained an additional 1.4 kilogram or 3.1 pounds. Wednesday's weighing result, I'd weighed 218.8 kilograms or 482.4 pounds, which means I reduced my weight by 1.2 kilogram or 2.6 pounds. Thursday's weighing result, I weighed 218.3 kilograms, which is 481.3 pounds, which again, between Wednesday and Thursday, saw me reduce my weight by 0.5 kilogram, or 1.1 pound. And on Friday's weigh-in, I weighed 218.4 kilograms, which is 481.5 pounds which means between Thursday and Friday, I gained 0.1 kilogram or 0.2 pounds. Okay, so it's now time for my normal weekly weigh-in. So this was my weigh-in yesterday. Here we go. <laughs> I weigh 217.2 kilograms, which is 478.8 pounds or 34 stone, 2.8 pounds, which means yet again, 
I've maintained my weight for another week. So I've not lost anything and I've not gained anything for yet another week. If we look at a difference between Friday's weighing result and Saturday's weighing result, it does actually show that I did lose 1.2 kilogram or 2.7 pounds within that 24 hour period. So if we look at my body mass index, because I've not lost anything and I've not gained anything, therefore it remains the same at 63.5. If we now look at my first weight loss target, well, the same as the BMI, I've not lost or gained anything, so therefore it remains the same at 89.1% complete. That means in the 28 weeks that I've been doing this journey, I've lost 62.4 pounds, which is 28.3 kilograms, or in my money, four stone, 6.4 pounds. I'm now gonna discuss a little bit more about my weekly foods that I consume. Yeah. So this is to answer a request in the feedback or comments I got in my last video. So, the request from Brian was to explain a little bit more about the types of food that I'm having for my breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks, etc. And, and whether or not I was following any macros. Personally, to go with the macro thing straight away, I'm not looking to clearly define the percentages of what food I should be having, weighing everything out, etc. Uh, so I'm not going into that level of depth. Um, I'm purely eating whatever I want to eat, but in moderation. So small portion sizes compared to what I used to have. And um, so I'm still eating my normal foods, but less of it. And I'm not following any macros. So to give you an idea of the foods that I would normally have, I thought it would be nice to give you a comparison between, let's say, a couple of the days where I've gone above my calorie allowance, so that would be typically on a Saturday, and look at a couple of days where I fall well within my calorie allowance. So to give you a nice overall view there, and just to give you a couple more ideas of the types of foods that I do actually consume. So if we look at Saturday the 2nd of July, so if we break down the meals and snacks throughout the day, for breakfast, I didn't have anything. I got, I got up, arose quite late in the morning. So I basically went straight into my lunch, which consisted of the following. Mild cheese, cheddar cheese, about 180 grams worth. Uh, I used this cheese for cheese toasties, cheese on toast. I also had uh, a tin of baked beans and sausage, uh, which I had with a le little bit of leftover of that cheese. Of course, I had a bit of butter, which two tablespoons worth of butter. For dinner, I had a jacket potato, again with some butter, uh, some garden peas, um, some roast chicken breast, uh, about 300 grams worth of roast chicken breast. And for dessert, I had a rhubarb crumble with a little bit of vanilla ice cream and snacks between meals for throughout the day. I had a packet of Walker's Crisp. I just want to point out, by the way, I'm by no means sponsored by these foods that I'm showing you. Okay, these brands that I'm showing you. Not sponsored by them, I just want to make this point clear. Uh, I also had a packet of uh, mini cheddars. And I also had a strawberry yoghurt bar. If we look at Saturday the 9th of July, so there was no breakfast, so I went straight to lunch, which consisted of a bacon sandwich, but I also had a 
uh, a white baton or basically it's a small uh, baguette so it's similar to the type of bread you get when you go to Subway uh, with uh, cheese and onion uh, again some butter I also had a little bit of potato salad that day uh, and a small little own brand um, steak and ale pie. Uh, for dinner I had some filled potato skins, two filled potato skins, some baked beans, about half a tin of baked beans, cheese and onion quiche, so it was probably about Again, about 300 grams of cheese and onion quiche. Salad cream to accompany that. And of course, to wash it all down, I had some Robinson's uh, cordial. And snack-wise, I did not have any snacks that day. Okay, so as a comparison then, so those two days where I've just shown you are obviously where I give myself a treat on a Saturday, so that's above my calorie allowance. Now, if we look at days where I stick well within my allowance. So if we look at Monday, the 18th of July, I had 2,266 calories, which is well, well within my allowance. For breakfast, I had a small bowl full of bran flakes with semi-skimmed milk. Uh, for lunch, I had a tuna salad. Well, I'd say the salad consists of uh, cucumber, sweet corn, carrots, peppers, beetroot, pickled onions, couscous, cottage cheese, okay, salad cream. I also had a packet of Sunbite Crisp, Walker Sunbite Crisp. I also had a Muller yogurt um, I had a yogurt bar and I had a banana and again washed down with some Robinsons and for dinner I had another salad but this time with turkey breast instead of tuna and I had another uh, moldy yogurt but just to give you an idea of some of the other foods that I would typically have um, I eat for my breakfast Bran flakes, muesli, shreddies, like I say Cheerios, again any cereals but just sensible amounts. And again I always have it with semi skim milk, I always have done. Dinner wise, well, if it's not a salad that I'm having, it's either a sandwich. Uh, a sandwich will probably be two or three slices of bread and it's usually medium cut bread. Drink wise, well I've already mentioned I either have Robinson's Cordial or Morrison's own brand flavoured water, sparkling water. Um, there's hardly any calories in the flavoured water so it, it's nice and refreshing especially when it's uh, come straight out of the fridge. For evening meals or dinner, again if, I've, if I don't have a salad there's a couple of options that I would normally do. Uh, one is I would either have beans on toast, purely due to the simplicity and ease of making it. It literally only takes two minutes and uh, if I feel lazy in terms of food preparation, I can't be bothered to cook anything. And to be honest, that's majority of the time. Beans on toast is the easy option. Uh, I also have a number of different frozen ready meals, uh, low fat ones, whether that be from your Weight Watchers uh, meals to your um, low fat like own brand type meals, whether that be curry, uh, beef or chicken hot pot, cottage pie, lasagna. Okay, so that's the end of this week's video. As always, if you would like to continue hopefully seeing less of me, why don't you subscribe to my channel so you don't get to miss out on any future videos that I post. I wish you all a fantastic week and I'll see you all again next Sunday.